respect the Israelis, you know, the Russians, they behave the way they do. But the people that have stabbed the Muslims the worst are the, uh, the, the Muslim leaders themselves. Exactly. This is how you know that, the, this is how we know. Look, Allah is merciful in showing us all of these games because Allah is showing us, look, you only have Allah. Like, exactly. You have nobody else. Nobody. And the, the people in Palestine know that the best. The people in Gaza mm -hmm. know that the best, mm -hmm. right? Because sometimes, look, a lot of times the narrative is that it's, it's, it's Hamas that's doing everything. Mm -hmm. But in reality, look, what scares, I think, people more than Hamas, I'm talking about the Zionists, mm -hmm. is when you kill 50 family members of mm -hmm. a family. and Single family. Yes. Single family and their relatives all living in one compound, and they say, Alhamdulillah. Exactly. exactly. That, that burns that, them right inside. There. Not just burn, it shakes them. Yeah. It shakes them. It well, shakes you them. You kill a reporter's family, and he's two days back out reporting, I can't stop this. Yeah, Allah yeah. Akbar. Yeah. Dude, so what I'm saying is this, look, this Allah is showing us. You're not going to have, you better not think and look at Russia and be like, oh, Russia is going to come and help no. us. Iran is going to come and help us. No. China is going to come and help us. America is going to come say that. No, we, this is Allah showing us you only have Allah. Exactly. And he's done the, Allah has done and the work for us to show how evil him, these people are. He, he uncovered the game for us and these people. Yes. Allah didn't have to do that for us. No. But he did that. Yes. He's done that for us. Now Allah is letting you know it's only Allah and the way of Allah and his Rasul is the only way for, for us mm -hmm. to succeed in this. Mm -hmm. You know, sorry, this came in my head because this is bringing back memories of, of, of that whole genocide in Syria. Mm -hmm. I have never seen uh, a Zionist bury somebody alive and force him to say that in the Bashar. Yeah, exactly. That's true, actually. Never. No, right. Think true. about that for a minute. And, and these You're guys in the land of like Muslims see it. and someone is torturing you by trying to say la ilaha illa Bashar. Mm -hmm. I, I have never seen in a video, in a video, an Israeli, and this is not to humanize them because they're beyond that. They're, take a Sunni Muslim and rip his beard off with their hands as he's talking to him like this. Why are you taking me? And his whole beard comes out in his hand. He's now naked. Pulled all his beard off with his hands, plucked it all out with his mustache. You know how painful that is? Raping women, raping Muslim sisters. They would shoot a child in the street and wait for somebody to come rescue him, and they would shoot them, and somebody else would come and they would shoot them. These are the people, and these people, these my people, Sunnis, uh, Palestinians, want to tell you that these people are Muslims like me and you. <laughs> And well, we're gonna they're, gonna they're gonna save the Palestine. They're gonna exactly, exactly. <laughs> like so, I think the the, the culmination. I don't want to go delve all back in this again. Mm. But the main point of all this is that if this war has taught a genocide, has taught anybody about anything, it is that in the end, the people that are uh, are suffering and the Muslims that are suffering in the world, they only have Allah to turn to. And if we don't turn to Him, it's gonna be continual failure. Mm. There, there's no, I mean, there, Allah is giving. Actually, I believe further that Allah is preparing other people. Look to them and see how they deal with the musibah, yeah. with the fitan. Yeah. Look to them. Because this will come to you. Allah tells you in the Quran that you're going to be tested. Mm -hmm. And that test may be you next. How are you going to respond? Are you going to be like these people who have istiqamah? Are you going to be like them and have sabr? Or are you going to be like the people that, you know, that lick any boot that comes to you? Yeah, time for the talent scouts to come out. Look, people think I'm joking when I said this. I said this yesterday too. Time for talent scouts in the Muslim world to come out and see who has the characteristics of Salah al-Din al exactly. And if you don't see it, start raising your kids as if they're going to be Salah al-Din al We exactly. don't have a choice. That's what I mean by we only have Allah. Meaning, wallahi, wallahi, in most of my prayers, I say, oh Allah, send us one like Salah al-Din. Yeah. Talent scouts. Oh Allah, send us one like Salah al-Din. No, that's what I'm saying, brother. We, look, everyone's doing to find this next Salah al-Din. Yes. But we need to find out how we create those means. We need to see people who are an influence <laughs> we and need get to them. Look, yes. the rulers themselves, we know that they don't have hearts. Uh, but there's people that are close to them that have hearts that are capable of change. And we need people to talent scout these people. 